Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Code Over Day 28. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use the M unit recorder in case you haven't done it already. All right, first of all, I'm going to create a new meal project. Now here I'm going to add an HTTP listener, localhost 8081 as usual, path is going to be slash test. Then I'm going to create a choice saying when payload.test equal is tr true, <laughs> then it's going to go here. Otherwise it's going to go here. So if it goes here, I'm going to create a set payload and I'm going to return a value of true just as a string. And if it doesn't go there, it's going to add a value of false to the payload. After that, we add a logger and simply logging the payload there. All right, pretty simple. So the first thing we want to do is to go to settings and then under Anypoint Studio and authentication, make sure you remove this and add your current user. Because even if you already had signed in, it may already be expired. So we need to do this again. All right, there, there's my username, apply and close. The next thing that I'm going to do, because if we go to bomb and we take a look at the dependencies, um, there's no mUnit stuff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new empty mUnit test. So here, create empty test. Um, just whatever the name is, it's fine. Click on finish. And now that it creates an empty test under search test mUnit, um, now we can have here in the bomb, we can see that we have the com mills of the unit and unit runner and unit tools and the assertions. So that's what we want. All right. So going back to the flow, now that we did all of those things, let's right click here on the flow and select M unit and then record test for this flow. So it's going to start running the application just as normally. And once this is deployed, you will see this test recorder thing coming here. So now let's call localhost 81 slash test, and I'm going to send test true to test that this is successful. So I send this and I receive true. Now, if I go back, it's saying the input recorded. So let's click on configure test. Now it's going to ask me for the file name and the test name. So yeah, the file name is going to be I'm unit recorder suite. And the test name is going to be mUnit Recorder Flow Test. I'm just going to add successful or success at the end, just so I know what's the success and what's the failure. And then click on Next. Now it's asking me the input and assert output. So if I click here on Flow Output, it already says that the payload is true. And that is what I want it to assert. And then in the Flow Input, it's just saying that the payload is going to be test true. And it's also asking me if I want to keep the attributes as well. Um, in my case, I don't think it really matters. So I'm just going to keep it as just the payload and the output, just the payload as well. I'm not going to check the attributes because that's not relevant for me right now. So I'm going to leave it as that and select next. Now it's telling me a summary of the test that will be automatically generated for my project. The behavior is going to set an event. Then it's going to execute the flow ref. And finally, it's going to check the assertion. That is pretty much what I wanted to do. So let's click on finish right here. And here we have it. So now we have the set input, which is setting up the payload from a class path. So if I were to go to search test resources and unit recorder flow test success. And here I have the set event payload and the assert expression payload. So if I check the set event payload, it's basically sending the test true, same as I sent from uh, the other thing. And if I check the assert expression payload, then it's going to just check payload must equal to true. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's that's what I want. So now let's run this to see if it actually works. And everything is green, so this test worked as expected. If we check this mUnit recorded flow, we will see that there is a check mark and the true set payload and in the logger set payload, which is great. So that means that this worked, the mUnit recorded uh, suite worked, 
and we can now simply do the same thing for the other one um, so we can also test the false path i guess all right that's all for today i will see you tomorrow for day 29 of gotober i hope you liked exploring the ambient recorder flow I mean, call me antiquated, antiquated, but I, I really prefer to create my own tests on my own. But that's just me. You can just do this if you're getting started to see kind of like how your test would look like and then you can adjust. All right, that's all then. I will see you tomorrow for day 29 of Code Over 2023. Bye.